Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install GBA Runner to into your DS, DS Audio 3DS thanks to the use of a flashcard and wireless menu. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to format our SD card. In many cases it's empty but you are going to need to make a backup of everything so you don't lose any information. Uh, so let's just launch the formatting program. I'm going to leave a link to this program in the, in the description of the video so you guys can use the same as I did and here we just need to click options and change the format type to full override and the format size adjustment to on we press ok everything should be like this press format ok and we should be good to go this is gonna take a while so I will just pause the filming and when it's done I'll get back to you alright so the formatting just finished so let's click ok and the exit as we see everything is perfect so let's proceed with the installation in my case this is an R4 that uses a 1.84b system so I'm just gonna copy the basic files it has which are these four into it the basic stuff basic setup as always and now here we have GVA Runner 2 and GVA with BIOS.bin. This is the basic setup for the GBA runner. It may work for you, but it did not work for me when I first tried it. So once this is done, I will move this in here. And let's see. There we go, that's almost done. Good. Now we move that. That's copied now. And now the fun begins. We you have to find which one of all of these folders is the one that corresponds to your card in my case this is the one that is mine so I will just proceed to copy all the information that I need into the SD card with this we have completed the setup for GVA Runner 2 uh, I will leave two files in the description which are manual install and easy install. The manual install is what I just did. You have to find the firmware for your SD for your flashcard and then find your flashcard in the list of flashcards compatible with wireless menu. If you have an R4 that uses 1.84b you can use the AC install.rar and it will just work. Just do the format and pass, paste this into your SD card and you will be good to go. So now I'm gonna proceed and put a game into our GBA folder so we can actually try it out. And we jump right into the DS. Here we are in the DS. Uh, let's just jump into the flashcard. Newly formatted. So this is the system I use, the 1.84. It's a DSi. Let's get into the game, and as you're gonna see here, we have the GBA Runner 2. I'm gonna run it because for me it's not gonna work. We're just gonna jump into wires menu, which will load this screen, and select GBA Runner, select the game we want to run. And there we have it. There we go. Sound and everything, it's amazing. It's really a really, really good emulator. Yeah. So let's 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 make a quick trial. Mm -hmm. Ha ha ha. Nice Wario. There is a bit of a graphical issue, but I mean, hey, better than nothing it is. <laughs> I'm such a good driver. Yeah, well, you, you, you guys see that I'm not very good at this game, but it works, so that's what matters. Well, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys find this 
emulator useful and I will leave a couple of useful links too in the description of the video so you guys can check the compatibility list for the games and all that interesting stuff and yeah see you the next time